Speaker. I call Andrew Bailey. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's a pleasure to be talking on this bill tonight, the Superannuation and Retirement Income Pro Rata Entitlement Bill. Look, I find this is an interesting bill that's been put forward by the member from New Zealand First, and it's really a refinement of our current superannuation arrangements here in New Zealand. And I believe it's based on uh, the French model, uh, which, uh, interesting, I've got uh, a, a lady working with me who has had first-hand experience of that system, which does apply a pro rata arrangement. The interesting thing in, this, in, the, France, in, in the French arrangement is that the, uh, the contributions by members to the scheme is absolutely significant, and the application of the pro rata arrangement um, does provide some uh, form of uh, recompense to people, but it is a difficult scheme to administer, and uh, therefore, on many grounds, I don't think it actually uh, works that well. So I was sitting there trying to work out what are the benefits of trying to refine our New Zealand super scheme, and to be honest, I'm struggling to understand what the merits might be. If I were to look at some of the issues it does raise, um, I think that the first one is that there is a maximum allowance for someone, a New Zealander, to legitimately travel overseas for five years between the ages of 20 and 65. And I think many New Zealand uh, people do um, travel overseas, as we're all aware, many of us have. And this stipulation around the five-year uh, requirement, I think, is actually quite constraining and counterproductive to not only the personal interests of New Zealanders who legitimately want to do that, but also counter to the uh, whole interests of New Zealand in terms of allowing people to go overseas and get the valuable skills that they may want to achieve uh, while they're working there. Secondly, this bill actually makes it very difficult for returning New Zealanders, and in many ways actually puts a disincentive for uh, New Zealanders to return to their homeland. And I actually believe that's a bit of a mistake. I think those Kiwis returning to New Zealand who may have worked overseas for many years and who want to come home and to be penalised for doing so under a bill like this is actually fundamentally flawed. The third issue I have with this bill is that if you strictly apply the rates, um, if you return uh, any time after the age of 30, uh, 55, i.e. within that last 10 year period, uh, you're actually financially uh, quite um, disadvantaged. And again, you, we are putting in place a mechanism that actually uh, reduces the superannuation that New Zealanders or other people returning to New Zealand are actually entitled to. And fourthly, it actually is absolutely anti-migrants. And that is, a, that is an issue I, I really have an issue with, because if we accept people into New Zealand as migrants and they go through the strict process of uh, immigrating to New Zealand with all the assessment that goes on, under the present arrangements they are entitled to a full pension uh, after a certain period of time. This bill would cut across that, and I think that that is a very poor commercial and as well as sort of a fundamental rights issue that uh, New Zealand First is raising with this bill. The fifth thing about this is that um, even for those returning with a, a foreign-based uh, superannuation scheme that would be count, uh, part of the remuneration that they'd be able to draw on, together with a part share of the New Zealand superannuation scheme, that creates a whole lot of problems for those individuals not only in terms of uh, what that means in terms of assessing what returns they might get, and subject to uh, uh, foreign exchange uh, difference, uh, differentials that go on from time to time, or the management of that. Uh, and for any of you who have actually tried to bring back a foreign pension scheme, it's not without its difficulties. In fact, it's an administrative nightmare. So on that basis, I can't also support it. And then, what it doesn't do is it doesn't actually res um, respect old people coming back to New Zealand. And, you know, I, I, I was at a bowling club on uh, Saturday, and I met this very nice English gentleman who had been in the RAF for many, many years, worked in France, and then came to New Zealand, been through that uh, superannuation uh, and immigration process. And, you know, he was loving living in New Zealand. He had, he had a lot to contribute to New Zealand. 
But under this bill, I suspect that that gentleman would not come to New Zealand. And I think, again, that is a significant pity. And finally, New Zealand already has in place good reciprocal arrangements with nine countries around the world. Where we have these arrangements are set up, it's absolutely clear what superannuation entitlement people are entitled to. And I think on those grounds, I'd Sorry, have to say I do not member. support this bill.